So, so far we've discussed the following operators. We've talked about plus, how it can be used for addition and concatenation. We've talked about subtraction. We've talked about multiplication. And we've talked about how division is complicated in Java and doesn't really work the way that we think it does. So uh, what we're going to talk about today is the last of the basic operators, which is this modulo operator. And modulo basically means remainder. So thinking all the way back to like second or third grade, before you learn to write this as uh, 2.25, you had first learned when you had d done long division like this to go 2 remainder 1. Do you remember that you learned that first? And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this remainder part right here. And I'm going to ask you to take out a piece of paper now and do some very simple arithmetic problems. And my question for each of these is, what, what is the remainder? We'll start off with some simple ones, and I'll show you that it can get tricky pretty quickly. So what would be the remainder if I go 5 divided by 5? How about 4? divided by 2. How about 7 divided by 3? How about 15 divided by 4? So I would like to know what is the remainder. So I'm not interested in the quotient. I'm in the, interested in the remainder. Let me just go back to this example here for a second. So I had 9, 2, uh, that would be 4, remainder 1. Now, let's just go back to your math class in second or third grade. Let's see how well, good a job your teachers did. Uh, we want to talk about what the different parts of the division problem are. Does anybody know what we call the two in mathematics? Please raise your hand. In a division problem, what is the two called in mathematics? Yes, Mr. Bryan? Uh, it could, if it was written as a fraction, it's the numerator. But if it's written as a division problem, yes, Ms. Uh, Lana? This is called the divisor. And what is the 4 called? It's got a name also. Kevin, do you remember? Quotient. That's called the quotient. I just finished telling you the 1 is called the remainder. Does anybody know what the 9 is called? Miss Lana? Dividend. That's called the dividend. Very good, miss. Dividend. Okay. Now, here's the thing you need to overcome in my class. The entire math life of yours, you've been focused on the quotient in this problem. Sometimes you deal with the remainder by writing it as a fraction. Other times you forget about it. But now, here in computer science, the remainder is often more important than the quotient. And we'll look throughout the year as to reasons why. But for now, just take my word for it, and we're going to calculate the remainder. So I would like you to calculate the remainder for these problems here. And in order to sh sort of stress that I want the remainder, instead of using this division symbol here, I'm going to use this modulo or remainder symbol. All right, so that basically means what is the remainder. Now here, we're going to use this to represent the, divid uh, the dividend. And here, we're going to use this to represent the divisor. <coughs> this divisor is now going to be called the modulus. So in a division problem, it would be called the divisor. But in a modulo problem, it's called the modulus. Basically means the same thing. All right. Okay, uh, Mr. Bellow, are you all finished, sir? Yeah. Okay, sir, can you just read the answers to me? Um, zero. Okay. Zero. Okay. One. Yeah. Three. Okay. Very good. Those are all the right answers. Seems like a fairly trivial concept. Let me show you how it can start to get a little tricky. I'm going to give you some harder ones to do now. Okay, Miss Nuha, uh, have you finished? Yeah. Okay. Can you give me the answers you have here, Mr. Ruha, for these four problems? Zero, yes? Five, 
Okay. So this one is not five. Uh, does anybody know what this one is? Yes, miss? Is it undefined? It's undefined. Because here I am dividing by zero, and that is not allowed in math. So it's not allowed for a regular division problem, and it's not allowed for modulo arithmetic either. Now, the ones that tend to confuse you are this one and this one. So I'm going to give you a framework for thinking about uh, modulo problems so that you don't get confused. When you see this modulo operator, it's all about jelly beans. So let me explain to you what I mean by that. So imagine, let's look at this problem right over here, for example. Let's look at this 17 modulo 3. What they're saying to you is that there are 17 jelly beans in here, right, 17 of them, and they're going to be shared by three people. And the rule for jelly beans is you can't cut a jelly bean into smaller pieces. Either someone gets the jelly bean or they don't get it. And the rule for the jelly beans is that everyone needs to eat the same number of jelly beans. So for this problem, for example, how many jelly beans would everybody get? Mr. Diego? Um, wait, what? I, if I have 17 jelly beans and I'm going to share them with three people and everyone needs to get the same number of jelly beans, how many jelly beans is each person going to get? Five. five. So they're going to get five jelly beans each. Five times three is 15. Diego, how many jelly beans will be left in the dish after the people are done sharing? Okay, so we agree then that after everyone gets the same number of jelly beans, there will be two jelly beans left in the dish. That is the question that we're asking with the modulo operator. How many jelly beans will be left in the dish? Now let's look at this problem right over here, 3 modulo 17. In this case, we're going to start off the dish with three jelly beans. And there are 17 people that are interested in sharing these jelly beans. How many jelly beans is each person going to get here, Ms. Ishita? Oh, then zero. Zero. So here you can see that the quotient is going to be zero. They're not getting any jelly beans. How many jelly beans are left over in the dish here, Mr. Dominic? Three. All three of them are left over. So here, the answer to the remainder problem is three. It is not... 17. 17 is the number of people. We're not asking about the people. We're asking about the jelly beans. Okay? All right. Here, we have no jelly beans to start off with in the dish. Five people are going hungry. The number of jelly beans left over in the dish is zero. All good? All right. So that is my little lesson for you today on the modulo operator.